Baby, can't you see I'm calling? Or should we say emailing? That's right, folks. It turns out that Britney Spears and Prince William shared a secret email romance back in the day. More like the early 2000s if you really want to paint the picture. Can you believe if they had played their cards right, Britney would have been the Queen of England someday? But hey, she's still the Queen of Pop now, isn't she? First off, the secret email romance took the internet by storm. Alright, so you'd remember that back in 2003, Prince William had just started dating his now wife Kate Middleton. And after quite a few years of romance, William and Kate finally tied the knot in 2011. And now the royal couple has a family of three children together. You remember Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Although while we're on the subject of the royal family, it's probably not the best time to bring up an old romance story now, isn't it? After all, the prince and the the entire royal family are mourning the death of Queen Elizabeth II. And right in the middle of all this, the news about the Britney romance got out. And that's all that people are talking about right now. Now we all know that the internet absolutely loves controversy. And while the news is shocking for many, who knew that the now Prince of Wales and Queen of Pop had shared quite a few emails when they were young? And for those who are surprised by the email romance itself, yes kids, that's exactly how people would flirt back in the day. Probably because we didn't have Instagram, so everyone was sliding into emails rather than DMs. Up next, here's how the controversy came back to life. Alright, so for some reason, someone decided to bring out Britney's old interview and needless to say, it went viral within minutes. Sadly, as we know now, things didn't work out between the two even though the singer was closer to the prince than we thought. And the interview is super old. <laughs> and we mean way back from the year 2002. Yep, that's exactly when Britney was a worldwide sensation thanks to her hits like Oops I Did It Again. In fact, during her appearance on a UK TV show, the young singer even told Frank Skinner about the emails shared with the prince. She even revealed their plans about meeting up while she was on her UK tour. But guess who got ghosted? Yep, Britney Spears. Okay, so if an icon like that can get ghosted, honestly, anything can happen. As a matter of fact, she says that they'd flirted back and forth on emails, just a bit, right until he was supposed to come to see her somewhere and never showed up. So to answer your question, was she blown out by Prince William? The answer is yes. And that wasn't all. Back in the day, the news still went viral, even if it wasn't as fast as today. So eventually, it pretty much became the talk of the world back then, with every website covering the failed romance between the prince and pop star. Plus, the British publication The Sun reported that the prince ended up going on a fox hunt instead of the date with the singer. A fox hunt? Really? Following up, a royal biographer came into play with a supposed reunion. That's right, a royal biographer, Christopher Anderson, also ended up giving some details about Prince William's online romance in his book, Brothers and Wives, Inside the Private Lives of William, Kate, Harry, and Meghan. And if you're tempted to go and read the book for some controversy, let us tell you the juicy bits right here. Anderson was pretty straightforward in the book and even wrote about how the controversial duo, William and Brittany, tried getting together when they were young. In fact, he added that there may also have been a few phone conversations here and there. But then again, he confirmed that they never managed to meet each other during the whole romantic period. At the time, the pair was definitely single. In fact, following the epic ghosting incident, Britney went on to date fellow pop star and Mickey Mouse Club alumnus Justin Timberlake. And well, we all know who Prince William married, Kate Middleton, who's now the Princess of Wales. And while we're at it, let's not forget that Britney might have been this close to actually becoming the Queen of England, if only things had gone a bit differently. Yes, we might be stretching it a little too far considering their romance died down in the list of old emails over a decade ago. But honestly, could you imagine what it would have been like if it hadn't? What's more, the cyber dating wasn't the only thing going on for Britney. The pop star is set to celebrate her 41st birthday on December 2nd. And it's been a 13 year long battle, to say the very least. Now, after Judge Brenda Penny made the ruling on November 12th last year, Britney is finally living a life free of conservatorship. It was nothing less than a monumental day for her. But back in the day, the entertainer was unsurprisingly in the dreams of many boys, including our royal heir. The two are around the same age and, as we know, connected way back when she and the future king were just teenagers. Well, we definitely call it an online relationship, or that's what we would call this back in the early 2000s, no matter how long it lasted. And if you think it was just Britney, well, not really, because the prince also had a similar kind of cyber relationship with Lauren Bush. But here's the interesting part. Even though she opened up about the whole online romance and emails, she still didn't admit to having 
having an online relationship with the prince? Was it just to cover up the fact that he ghosted her by claiming the whole cyber thing wasn't serious enough to begin with? It definitely looks like it. As the story goes, Prince William had quite a crush on Britney Spears. In fact, according to Perez Hilton, the younger version of him was quite infatuated to the pop star. And she thought it was hilarious. And despite her claims that he pretty much ghosted her back in the day, she didn't seem to have any hard feelings towards him in the years that followed. Because their connection didn't end there. Following up, Britney planned a hopeful reunion in 2011. That's right, just under a decade ago, she was even hoping to see him and his wife Kate Middleton at her femme fatale concert during its UK tour. In fact, Spears even told Glamour magazine that it would have been crazy but pretty cool. She added that she finds them a beautiful couple, even though she wasn't able to attend the wedding. And that's the same wedding that took place at Westminster Abbey with over 1,900 guests. The couple had their fair share of celebrities watching their nuptials, like the Beckhams and Sir Elton John, even if Spears couldn't make it. And while the couple first crossed paths back in 2001 at St. Andrews University, it wasn't until a decade later that they finally decided to tie the knot. Plus, the royal couple didn't start dating until 2003, which was after the whole cyber romance with Spears. Anyway, this wasn't the only time Spears mentioned the Prince of Wales. As a matter of fact, in another interview, she said that the royal couple were extremely busy and probably wouldn't be able to attend her show. Adding to that, she said, but if they could squeeze it in, that would be very cool. And that wasn't all. While she's talked about seeing them at her concert, she also mentioned wanting Kate Middleton to wear a pair of undergarments from a collaboration that she did with ASOS in 2014. When asked about how she would feel if Kate actually agreed to it, Spears said she'd love to see Kate in her designs and was gonna send her one of every piece. That way, she'd have plenty of options to choose from. Finally, it's probably time to let go. While the controversy is too much for the internet to handle right now, it's probably best to move on. The royal couple has been happily married for over a decade. And after the untimely passing of the queen earlier this month, both Kate and William have adopted new titles. Queen Elizabeth II was the longest serving monarch, which made this transition even harder and more emotional. In fact, the prince praised his grandmother, thanking her for the 20 years of guidance and support she has given his wife. As the old interview resurfaced, it started off the interesting controversy about how Britney Spears came dangerously close to becoming the Queen of England. At the same time, it seems like it was nothing more than a harmless cyber romance in their early years. And that isn't so bad, right? Having said that, it's been two decades, and the two have moved on in their own separate lives. It looks like it really isn't that big of a deal anymore. That's a wrap for this video. What's your take on Britney Spears and Prince William's secret email romance? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.